So at first glance, this looks like something that might actually be worth having. Little Timex Indiglo Nightlight clock radio, even for the price. So it doesn't look too bad. Then you flip it around, and you see who actually manufactured it. SDI Technologies, which is more better known for their sound design brand names. So that's all this really is. This is just some sound design junk. These weren't original. The, about the only interesting thing about this was the batteries that it came with. Which if I remember where I put them, which I don't, of course, and they're over here. It's a couple more of these Duracell things. That expired 10 years ago. So what I'm going to do, I'll get that aside for a second. So I'm going to find my meter, which should be over here, but apparently isn't. Of course it isn't. Okay, I found the stupid thing. Of course, it wasn't where I put it. So somebody borrowed it and then didn't put it back. It happens all the time. All right, so the most they can be possibly be is about 1.6 volts. So I'm expecting to find that both of these are completely stone dead. Which it looks like that one is more than completely stone dead. It measures negative 0.095 millivolts. I actually negative 95 millivolts, I should say. Negative 95 millivolts, that one measures. What about this one? That one measures 83 millivolts. So, yep, those are dead. Is anybody surprised by this? I'm not. Speaking of things that are broken, you may have noted the very curious fact that it says nightlight on it. And it's got a brightness control here. Well, I've got that turned up all the way right now. There's a light sensor on the front. But I don't see no backlight. And it doesn't matter if I shine a light at that. If I can find where my flashlight has gone. If I shine a light at it, nothing happens. I'm shining the light right at it. And if I turn all the lights out, I've already tried that. If I block it, nothing happens. So, I have a couple of theories. Number one, it's sound design crap. And number two, maybe this light sensor on the front is broken because it's sound design crap. I don't know, maybe there's some other combination that I'm supposed to push. Like, if I push the snooze button, nothing happens. If I push reset, nothing happens. Alarm, nothing happens. The sleep, I, I know what that's going to do. Time does nothing. Calendar does nothing. Month, that does nothing. That does nothing. That does nothing. And that does nothing. If I turn it on, that does nothing. I change these, that does nothing. Unless maybe you are supposed to put it into sleep mode. Nope. It doesn't seem to have done anything at all. So, okay. Volume control, wake 2 doesn't seem to do anything. The band switch doesn't do anything. The tuner doesn't change it. Okay, so we verified that it doesn't work. Which is kind of unfortunate, because that was the whole reason why I purchased the thing in the first place. So, I already know I won't be keeping this, uh, but if you want to set it, it's fairly easy. You just push this time button here. This had me going for a minute. You know, I say it's fairly easy, now that I know how to do it, but I couldn't figure out how to do it when I first picked it up, because this is the most confusing control layout I have ever seen. Of course, these things usually wound up in hotel rooms, but you probably don't want your guests changing the time willy-nilly anyways, so maybe that's why. But you can go ahead and set the time. It's got both forward and reverse. Slow and fast. You can change the calendar, the date. Both the backwards and forwards. We can only change the month forward though. There's no backwards for the month. And the alarm. For alarm one. And for alarm two, which is how you do this, because there are two alarms. Of course, it's a pain because the alarm button does not work. But there you have it. Of course, alarm one, two, you can see it cycles between them. There's a zoom control, there it is. Of course, without a backlight, you really can't see that. It shows up a little better on camera than I thought it would. But of course, this has a 3 CCD image sensor, so it should see things a little better anyway. Let's have a listen to the radio. 
I don't know where in the band it is. There it is. So, radio on. It's on FM right now. It actually has an external antenna. Which does not seem to do a whole lot. Probably because there's not a whole lot up that high on the band. Not easy to tune. Really not easy to tune. Like I don't even think I'm gonna bother on AM because that that's way too difficult to tune. So let me set an alarm correctly and we'll have a listen to that. It's not as quiet as I was expecting, and it looks like it does have some progression to it. I presume if it was sitting on something other than a bed, it would actually be a little louder. But I don't know, that'd be pretty hard pressed to wake me up. So anyway, I think that's it. I don't have anything else to show you. So there's your Timex Indiglo nightlight with a broken nightlight clock radio made by sound design. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off, and I'll see you next time. Till then!